All right then, we're going to cover how to install the Nick Collection plugins for Affinity Photo for Windows. So on the desktop here, I've got the downloaded installation file from the Nick Collection website. So I'll just double click that. Okay, and we'll continue with the basic installation. So I'll choose United Kingdom for my language. Click next. That's all fine. Click I agree. And this is where, compared to Mac, the Windows installation is a little more streamlined. All the supporting files we need get installed to this destination folder. So we can just click Next, and we don't need to add any compatible host applications. Click Install. And you might find the installation takes a while to complete, so a little patience might be required here. OK, so once it's finished installing, we'll just click Finish. And then what we want to do is launch Affinity Photo. OK, so we'll just close the Welcome panel here. Then we want to go to Edit and Preferences. Then we want to find Photoshop plugins here. And then all we want to do under Plugin Search Folders is click Add. And we want to navigate to Program Files, Google, Nick Collection, and this is the folder we want to add. So we just choose Select Folder here. And then what we want to do is restart the application. So when we click Close, we'll be prompted to restart Photo. So choose Yes. OK, close the Welcome panel once again. Go to Edit, Preferences, Photoshop Plugins. And here we've got the plugins listed. Now, some of these are marked as unknown. In order to be able to use them, we just need to check Allow Unknown Plugins to be used down here. Then we can close this dialog. We don't have to restart again. And I'll just go ahead and open up a recent image. Move across to the Layers panel. And a good habit to get into if you're using external plugins is to just duplicate the layer that you're working with. So I'll duplicate the background pixel layer. OK, so then all I need to do is go to Filters, Plugins, Nick Collection, and I can, for example, choose Color Effects Pro. The one issue that you might run into is that the plugins don't seem to support high DPI scaling. So for example, my scaling is set to 200%, and as you can see, I've got quite a small interface. So that's just something to be aware of. But for now, I'll pick, say, a preset. I'll just adjust this slightly until I get some sort of nice looking result. And then I'll just click OK to apply the plugin. And as we can see, the plugin output has been returned to photo onto that duplicated background pixel layer. So I can hide that to show the original image. OK. So that's it really, just a quick video to show you the best way to install the Nick plugins and get them running within Affinity Photo. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.